Hello everybody, it's Philip from Java 1 1504 and this is our project 3, the Advanced Views project. This project did have some requirements here, so let's go ahead and load it up and we'll talk about it as we go. So let's go ahead and load up Advanced Views. So as we can see, we have a regular view here. We have a spinner at the top that has an image as well as uh, a title for each one of the items. If we click on it, we have a detailed view down below that contains just text views and image boxes where we can load information in it. Now in portrait view, we use the spinner. Over here in landscape view, we can see that we use a list view. And when we click on an item, it updates all the information on the side. So that primary application requirement, that it must support both landscape and portrait orientation is done, and that it should be a spinner in portrait and a list view in landscape is done as well. And then detail view can be any non-adapter view UI control to display information, ergo the image views and the text views that we have here on both. Uh, adaptive views are populated uh, using a collection of hash map objects that are used to store related data. I could go ahead and show you that here as well. In our code, we have our primary hash map up here at the top. And as you can see, we are actually loading our primary hash map with a custom object called herbs. So it does indeed load a collection of hash map objects that are used to store related data. But we are using the standard adapter methodology by creating a custom adapter and then assigning that adapter to our individual spinner or list view as the case may be. We also had to make sure that we used a custom object here. So this is my herbs class. We have all of our private members up here at the top. I decided to get a little fancy and do a static enum of herb types. We have our constructor right here and a bunch of getters because I didn't do any settings. And then we come back over here and we have our custom herb adapter because that was another requirement that allows us to have our uh, context, our bitmap, our hash map, and our async image setter. Now this information right here came from how to optimize your code to better work with uh, reusability in list views, that one Android uh, video that we had to watch during class. So we initialize a static holder right here and then we initialize our class for our adapter. We can get our count from our herbs and their size. We can get our item based on our herb get positions. And then down here, we do our bitmap holder. And then if the convert view is null, we're going to inflate that as a type of herb row. And then we're going to set it as necessary right here. And then we set the tag to the bitmap holder. Otherwise, if it's not null, we don't need to redeclare that, hey, this is going to be a row. We don't need to pull the convert view. We don't need to assign it. We just say, hey, you know what? It's actually going to be uh, the, the get tag of the convert view is the new bitmap holder, and we can assign everything that we need to it right here. This right here allows us to assign images to our convert view via asynchronous objects so that we're not blocking the UI itself. And this is the async image setter right here. It's just basically taking uh, the image objects that we pass to it, and then it's decoding them. And at the same time, all the magic happens down here. It decodes and scales at the same time using bitmap factory. So we're just decoding only for the bounds right here. So we get the image width and the height. And then we're calculating the factor that we need for the target height and width that we set, the 50-50 or the 150-150 for the detail views. And then we go ahead and rescale the item right here, which barely uses any memory, and it's quite nice. So really, guys, that's all there is to it. Um, we can come down here to the rest of the code, and we see that it does use another requirement, that the detail view is populated from a shared UI population method that is shared across all adapter views, and it's called populate item details. It populates all of our text views right here and loads up our image view using an asynchronous method using that same async image setter at the top. Lastly, the last requirement we had was the application uses custom layout for adapter view item layouts. And we can see that here in the herb rows. And so here's my XML for it. It has an image view and a text view. And this is, of course, the custom layout that we use right here. So I hope you guys like it. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, have a great day.